اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ يوم الدين Every gathering that has salawat in it becomes a heavenly fragrant gathering This is according to the hadith of Prophet Wasallam. That smell from the fragrance of salawat reaches to the first heaven So to be connected to heaven by smell it's very easy Just make salawat اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد مدد يا أولياء الله نوين الأربعين نوين الاعتكاف الخلوة العزة رياض السلوك السيام الله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد مدد سيد سلطان الله سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفائز دغستاني مدد سلطان الله سيد الشيخ محمد ناظم عادل الحقاني مدد سيد الشيخ محمد عادل الرباني رجال الله عينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نحظى بفضل الله Our way is companionship is صحبة there's no emphasis on the importance of who does one, who do you surround yourself with, what kind of company a person is with. That will dictate what kind of person a person will turn out to be. So Prophet said, Khalili. You are according, you are according, your religion is according to the religion of your friend your dear friend, your near friend. That's how we, we are human beings. We assimilate, we, we are mirrors to each other. So when we are with people, we pick up, even without noticing, we pick up some of their traits, the more, the more time, and they pick up some of ours. And that's why when, when people spend time with each other, they even start to physically look like each other after a long time, especially if they love each other as well. So, if you want to be uh, uh, near and dear to Allah, then pick your friends to be those who are striving for that or who are pious, who are uh, looking for uh, Allah's pleasure. Make sure that these people are you surround yourself with and the rest is easy, inshallah. I was reading in Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, we'll make this sohbah not too long, inshallah, before the zikr. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, uh, Allah bless him, Sheikh Muhammad Ghazi, Abdurrahman Ghannoum from the 80s, uh, when Mulana used to visit Lebanon, he, he made some, he used to uh, transcribe his sahabas in Arabic, and he writ, wrote them exactly as Mulana would say them. And uh, then he's done three books, I think, or four. And he was telling me that, you know, if he, if he has time, um, inshallah, and energy, there's, there's, he could have 20 of these books or more from the sahabas he has collected. And I just opened it today on, on this. Mawlana Shaykh Nazim, may Allah sanctify his soul, is saying, you have to be with haqq, takuna ma'al haqq idhaka fadila, that you have to be with truth. You have to stand up for what is true. This is very important. Why? Because we live in a time where we're surrounded with distractions, we're surrounded with sometimes mirages, you know, especially with all the gadgets. And it's hard sometimes to discern. That's why we started with you have to be with the right people, first of all. Second of all, is that when a person when you know the truth, you have to be with it. There's no more than When a person knows what is right, then the price one pays for yeah, and he having his lahir, his, having his knowing the truth and then, and then hiding it and then acting as if the opposite of what he knows. That is the definition of nifaq. So it is very dangerous. If a person is ignorant of it, doesn't know what's true and what's not, it's half the problem. But if a person knows what is true, then they have to be with the truth. And this is what Mulana is saying. Kun ma'al haq, fadila, falyakun al haq ma'i insan. He's saying, even if your father, even if your uh, parents, even if you, uh, the whole world, you know something to be true, to be real, to be right, and everyone around you saying no. That is not true. 
in that instance, Mawlana saying, you have to be with the truth. Because if you can't be true to yourself, if you can't be honest with your own self, then most probably you're not going to be honest with people around with with the people around you. And if you make mudahana, you you risk losing uh, your your eternal life, because nifaq to have your outer and inner out of sync. You know something to be real and truth, and then you oppose it to make people around you happy. That will turn you into a munafiq, a mudahin, a munafiq. And even if everybody around you is happy, Prophet ﷺ said, you can be a thief and be a Muslim, but a liar, it's impossible. If a person lies and gets used to lying, it's impossible for them to be a Muslim because if you can't keep, if you can't be honest with yourself and the people around you, uh, how are you going to be honest with Allah? Who's going to accept your testification or your shahada or anything? No one. So honesty is supreme in Islam. And one starts with themselves before anybody else. And it is very difficult especially in today's world, the tests that we undergo, people are, are worried sometimes. That's why maybe they mean well, but they're worried to do the right thing. Why? Because they're afraid. They're afraid there's something to lose. They're afraid the people to lose. But we are Muslims. Today, somebody shared with me a video of them, some of the Palestinians. Uh, one, one person, I think, in the West Bank, a young man, 17 years old, was uh, martyred, uh, protesting, was martyred. And uh, the Palestinian people, they have undergone so much difficulty, subhanAllah, that people were singing in their household that, uh, you know, praising because he is shaheed, he is a martyr. Why? Because they have certainty of belief. Why? That, that this world is temporary. And this young man, although his life was cut short, but they have certainty that now he's in heaven. You know? So that's why everything we do, we Allah grant us that certainty of faith, that yaqeen, that we do everything with the target in front of us that this world is temporary. That I'm not going to, I'm going to do the right thing right now because I might get an immediate benefit if I don't from it. I might not lose that person who likes me. I might not uh, lose something of value or some wealth. But the long term, we are not people like that. We are people of Akhirah. La Aisha illa Aisha al Akhirah, Prophet used to, when they were building the face. There's the real life is Akhirah life. It's not this life. That's the reality. So, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us firm on the truth. When we are called to choose between what we know is true and what we know is not true, to choose what is true all the time. And when we are called to do the right thing or not to do it or to do the opposite of it, to do the right thing all the time. Because as we go nearer, things are getting difficult, especially for young people. Things are, are the tests for them are, are much more difficult because they now people are especially after the corona they're they're interacting virtually and the brain can't tell the difference so if whatever they're consuming is negative that will shape their personalities may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us protect our families and protect our uh, deen and religion and grant us to be reach eternity inshallah safe and to be from people of heaven with Prophet وسلم, with companions with our mashaykh. Wa illallahi tawfiq bi hurmati al-habib bi hurmati al-fatiha.